Alright, gentlemen, we're here with Froggen and Dexter. Very first victory for the revamped elements lineup. Froggen, Crepo just calling you feeder in that one. Jeez, I mean, from your yeah. friends. <laughs> I mean, I died two times because I tried to dive the fountain. That's maybe not the <laughs> smartest decision. <laughs> No, no, exactly. You guys had a really, really good game all around. Very interesting game as well because it was all about the kills, but not really the golden towers early. Tell us about your game plan, Dexter. Um, the game plan was basically, okay, we got the draft that we wanted, basically, but the Sidrani was like, I didn't really want to play, play Sidrani in that game because it just felt too slow. And we wanted to have some more aggressive jungler, but they had banded out. So I kind of had to uh, play Sidrani here because it was just too good to not pick it. And then we just like, okay, we take a slow early game, it's fine if we give up the dragon. But the second I hit level 6, I just go bot lane and it's three kills because it's Urgot, Alistar and Sidrani. So that was all the all only game plan pretty much and we executed it pretty well, I think. So to me, that game, you could take the nameplates off and it'll look like Gambit maybe were like SK from last season. They took uh, the first three turrets down very quickly. When you're in that situation, you guys had, I think, two kills at that point. Did you quickly realize that you just had to pick up kills uh, as opposed to try and get turrets, Froggen? Um, no, I think it's more our comp position is around team fighting. And we already knew from the start that Asir will constantly push and their bot lane, they have forgiven, so he will constantly push too. So we expected all that early tower damage and it's just something we tried to deal with and we just tried to punish them for it whenever they went for the rotations and we out team fought them because that's what our comp is good at and that's how we like ended up getting really far ahead. Yeah, you, it's not because your comp is good at something that it'll work out. It did seem that you guys all even individually were kind of in the zone. Like, Dexter, you were racking up kills left and right and making those flanks happen. It, it did seem that it was like kind of a unique moment for you guys. Um, yeah, I think we just played for the team composition. I thought I think our practice, especially like one month ago, has been involved about team fight only. Mm -hmm. And then we started going into like different comps that we train and then in this game, everything clicked and we were just like, okay, you have to do this. Alice has to dive and peer and Malka is going to flank and I'm going to use the five minutes Sidrani ultimate if I hit it. <laughs> but yeah, I think everything worked out for us in the end in team fights. And there was no way that once we got like the 2-0 that we can actually lose team fight in that game because our comp is just 10 times better and scales way better. Yeah, it was scaling insanely well. Uh, you talk about Alistar as well. Promise Q is, of course, uh, the very new face, we kind of know the rest of you guys already. What was the communication like with him in the very first game? Did he seem nervous? What, what was going on? No, he was actually just like he is in scrims. He communicates very well and he does his job and he's not afraid to like call as well. So he, like, he's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. It just seemed through your gameplay that this team was a lot more of a team than maybe perhaps the previous elements. You mentioned in the, the preview video that we showed earlier, Froggen, that uh, you know the last team didn't really feel like your team. Does this now feel like five people all working on the same page? Um, yeah, I would say so. I mean, everybody is like, um, I don't know, it's hard to say, but it feels more like actually a team rather than just like five good players on the team. Um, and obviously, I have, we have only played one game, so it's really hard to judge and we shouldn't let ourselves get ahead. So it's like, we'll see how it ends out, but definitely like practice and outside of the game, it feels way more like a team than the other team. Yeah, definitely. I do think it's important for now than for you guys also. You guys realize this is only one game. And for us, you know, we've said a lot of times in the past with the super team, and there were super high expectations. So I do kind of feel, even though you said in the video that this is the super team version three, that right. you don't really look at it that way. This is a new thing and a new project that you want to get to the top. It was more meant as a joke because yeah, Fro it's like Froggen <laughs> building up a new team with four new players. So I was like, man, this is like Super Team version 3. But I feel like Europe is like so stacked right now that it's probably, there's no Super Team. Maybe Fnatic. I think Fnatic is probably mm -hmm. like the Super Team right now in Europe to, and the team to beat. But other than that, I think it's like very even out, like even skilled um, across the board. And you have so many good teams that it's just very important to win every single game because everything means so much more right now because it's there's there's no bottom teams that you can like uh, get easy wins off or something it's mm -hmm. just like full stacked so i'm actually looking forward to play like some other teams and see how the first round of best of ones goes yeah definitely stacked and for you definitely because you've kind of taken a break and you've always yeah. been very eager to play so what has that been like getting back into that grind basically as well uh i was I was so happy that I finally got a team again and with Froggen. And I really wanted to play with the Tops again. I was super excited to play with him. And then Crepo, of course, retired to be a caster here. And then we had to find a new solo queue player, basically. Everything felt fine because we knew that he was good. And yeah, we just want to work right now on like specifics so we can actually get better. Because right now, I think we, we, 
we actually had a really good game plan right now and showed it, but I just want to show that we can be better. Like I just want to be as the best team that we can possibly be. And then if we end up winning a lot more games and we are actually a good team, then that's fine with me. But right now, I just want to play League of Legends. <laughs> All right, Dyrus. Uh, Froggen, <laughs> maybe a final thing. Just to echo that as well, not hard statements like, you know, we're going to make worlds or we're going to do this. What is for you the most important thing in this first couple of games, these first couple of weeks that you want to show with your team? Mm -hmm. I mean, I just want to play some good League of Legends with my team and that's what we're going to work towards. So, I mean, we don't really have any high expectations. Like, everybody has dreams like, oh, we're going to finish number one, we're going to make worlds and all that stuff. It's like, it's impossible to tell. We just have to work one day at a, as a, at a time and then see where we're going to end up and put 100% every single day. Yep, a healthy outlook. Congratulations, very first victory on the board here for Thank the you. revamped elements. And as for us, we're just minutes away from our next match between H2K and Rocket. We'll be back with more European League Championship Series right after this. It's sad. You can't mute there because it's a team speak, you know? Dude, uh, that's what the like, good part about team speak. Yeah, okay, agree. like when uh, I guess I can make some noises when we play to interrupt you, like bah! or something like that. That's nice, very nice, dude. <laughs> Go shoot, Pepper! Lands the death sentence! That's a flash pulverize from Thomas Q. His cover shot is knocked backwards. I'm in the middle of all of them. I'm going for Fugue Event, Fugue Event! Fugue Event! Nice, 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 nice. nice, nice. Go to Pepper, go to Pepper! Touched! We need a seal, we need a seal! He's only one dealing damage. He's getting. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, Nice! Tabs manages to shut down Diamond and Positioner versus Betsy back into the middle of the squad as Promise Q boots Goshu Pepper away. Glanton should time out before he can get to it, not even going to be needed. Now Diamond Prox is in trouble, Elements are just running him down. Massive smiles from Elements as they pick up their first win in summer.